Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is another match preview, this time for the Champions League. Match away to CSK Moscow. I'm here with Louis East, who is the, the Fuhrer of the Spurred On, brand new Spurred On website. Louis, what is the address they can find that website at? SpurredOnTV.com. All the usual stuff, videos, exclusive articles, and the best of social. Nailed it, and fortunately for someone running our website, he is a huge Spurs fan. So let's get on with thinking about this CSKA Moscow game. Now, of course, we lost to Monaco in the first match at Wembley in front of 85,000 Spurs fans, 2-1. We need a result in this game, don't we? We do, we do yeah. I mean, it's, it's not a must win at this stage. It's only match day two, but it's a must not lose, I yeah. think. I think if you're six points behind the group leaders, which could be Monaco at the end of their game against Leverkusen, then, then we're in a bit of trouble. So yeah. uh, it's important that we, we play our game, stick to our game, and I, I, think, I, I think we'll be fine. I think this is, a, this is an easier opponent than Monaco. Okay, they do have a brand new stadium though, and lots of obviously very passionate Russian CSKA Moscow fans. Mm -hmm. So it won't be easy, but I think that will inspire our team. Let's get into your predicted team selection for tomorrow night. Obviously he rotated the squad. Uh, a little bit against Middlesbrough on Saturday to protect some of those players. So let me know who you think he's going to go with tomorrow night. Uh, I think easy one in goal, isn't it? Hugo Lloris mm -hmm. has to be uh, number one goalkeeper. He's not going to get dropped for the Champions League. Uh, I think Carl Walker continues at right back. Um, I know he's been playing a lot of games lately, but when fit, you've got to get Walker in the side. Toby and Jan uh, in the middle. Yeah, the it Belgian goes, bromance. Yeah. You can't be changing that. Yeah, it goes without saying, doesn't yeah. it? You're not changing that, especially for that's going to be a hostile environment. You yep. need those players in there. And at left back, I've gone Ben Davis, just because Danny Rose is he's back in training, he's, he's back to fitness, but I think we'll need Rose more than Davis for Sunday's game against Manchester City, given Sterling's pace. Mm. And uh, I, I think Davis has, has looked good the last couple of weeks, and he doesn't tend to put a foot wrong, so I, I'd stick with him Interesting choice. Let us know in the comments box whether you agree with Louis on that, because I think that is interesting. It almost asks the question, what's the more important game as well? Is it CSK in Moscow in the Champions League or is it the City game on Sunday? Anyway, OK, so go, go on into your midfield. Uh, I'm going to go Victor Wanyama. Uh, I know he didn't start against Monaco, but I think we missed him in that game. Uh, we were a little bit open uh, in holding midfield. I know Deli Ali started there. That was maybe a mistake from Pochettino. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'd like to see Wanyama get a chance in the Champions League. And I've gone Dembele alongside him because... I know that him and Dyer are both, they both went off a cramp in the Sunderland game. Uh, mm -hmm. There's fitness concerns there, but... Cramp or a slight hamstring strain, it was said with yeah. those two. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, if Dembele, if you're going to pick between the two for this game, I think it has to be Dembele. I think okay. we need his legs in there. Uh, and then Dyer will come back in for the, for the City game, should that be the case. Uh, I think Lamella will start on the right. He, he was rested for the Middlesbrough game. Looked brilliant against Gillingham last week. Three assists and a goal. Uh, and I think that he'll come back in for the Champions League game. Son on the left, uh, I know he's playing a lot of football, but how can you drop, how right. can you drop Son Absolutely. with the form he's in? Uh, and then I've got Delhi in behind Janssen. Okay. Uh, no place for Ericsson, mainly because he played against Gilling Gillingham and against Middlesbrough. So okay. two in a row, I think Poch will use the rotation here. Interesting, so Louis has gone for a different side for me. I think this is, this is why I'm going for the side that I think. Although, admittedly, now you've said all that, it does kind of make sense. But anyway, uh, I think because it's a Tuesday, Sunday, rather than, say, a Wednesday, Saturday, or last season, a Thursday, Sunday, I think he will try and play his best team, or what I deem to be his best team, both tomorrow and on Sunday. So I've gone for Hugo, Carl Walker, Danny Rose, I think will come back in. I think that's why he was rested on, uh, on Sunday, uh, on Saturday against Middlesbrough for this game. Toby and Jan, and then I think it'll be Dyer and Dembele recreating their love fest in the central midfield that they had last season. Lamella on the right, Ericsson and Deli Alley behind uh, Vincent Janssen. That's my opinion, that's what I think will happen, but your points you just made are very valid. Let us know guys in the comments box below who you think is gonna be closest out of the two of us to the correct 11, and also give us your thoughts on what that 11 will be. So Louis, what is your score prediction for tomorrow night based on the team that you are thinking might get picked? Uh, I'm going to... Uh, well, CSKA gone. drew their foot in match day one against yeah. Leverkusen 2 all, and uh, Leverkusen were 2 nil up in that game. Mm, they were. And uh, CSKA uh, brought it back. Um, so they've got the players and they've got the fight in them. So what are you thinking? I think we're looking at a tough game. We know that it's uh, the first time we've ever played them. Uh, we know that as soon as it was drawn, Moscow away was going to be a tricky game. But saying that, I don't think we lose this game. I think we'll go there 
Uh, I've gone for a one-all draw okay. because I just think that playing away in a hostile environment w is something that we're not fully used to, so that could pose a problem. But I think that even with a few rotation uh, changes, if Pochettino does make them, we're still strong. Okay. Uh, I think we'll still be strong enough to, to come out of Moscow with okay. a point. And who's going to score that goal for us, in your opinion? It's going to be Eric Lamella. I think he, he loves European nights. Yeah. We saw that uh, all through uh, the Europa League campaigns we've been involved in. Mm -hmm. The Rabona, um, of course. The, the Rabona is a special one. Uh, and I, I think that he looked lively against Monaco. He, he, had, a, he had a good start of goal early on. Uh, I, I think Lamella breaks the, breaks the deadlock. Yeah. All right. Good. Oh, you think we'll score first? I think we'll score first, yeah. And they'll peg us back. Okay, I'm going 2-0 Spurs. As confident as I've been for a while. I don't know why. I just have a good feeling. I think the confidence that we, we've got from the start in the Premier League um, will kind of wipe out the disappointment of that Monaco game, which is almost like one of those situations where it's your party. Someone comes and spoils it. It happens quite a lot in football. Uh, I think we'll go there tomorrow night. If we can start well, maybe pick up an early goal. Make sure that uh, CSK have to come at us and then we'll hit them on the break again. Second half probably. So I've gone Ericsson with a goal because I've picked him. You haven't. <laughs> One of us is going to be right. It's going to be awkward tomorrow. Uh, I've gone for an Ericsson's goal, possibly from a free kick. I haven't, we haven't, he hasn't really scored from a free kick no. for a long time. Maybe not since Swansea last year. I might be wrong, but he scored two that day. I remember because I was right behind the goal. It was amazing. Uh, and then the other one, I'm going for Vincent Janssen on the break or possibly from a penalty for the second goal. 2 nil Spurs. What do you think the scores will be? Let us know in the comments box below. In terms of, just very briefly, um, going forward, is this a group, even having lost the first game against Monaco, you expect us to get out of? Yeah, yeah, I fully, I fully expect us to get out of the group. Uh, I might even go as far as they expect us to win it. You, th um, you think going to Monaco away will be an easier match for us than, than the home one? Yeah, I, I, do. I think that it will suit us playing away from home. Um, and, and like you mentioned, this, this, this game in particular, CSK's new stadium, they all have the feeling that we had at Wembley. It's, it's a new ground, they're, they're getting used to it, fans are getting used to new seats. Yeah. Uh, and I've seen the pitch, it's a, it's a nice open pitch which will suit us. So. I, I think playing away across all three grounds this this campaign will, will suit us better. So. All right, let's hope they're as bad at their new stadium as West Ham are at the London Stadium, uh, which is fantastic to watch, frankly. OK, Louis, thanks so much for appearing on uh, this week's match preview. Let's hope that uh, I'm more right than you and we win 2-0 rather yeah. than draw one all. But let's face it, I think you're right. Any result tomorrow night will lead us well into the Leverkusen at home game, which is in the next one at Wembley. Make sure you get your tickets for that when they become available if you haven't already. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Spurred on TV and find us on the website again, which is what, Louis? SpurredOnTV.com. SpurredOnTV.com. Get behind the boys tomorrow night. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. Barnaby again for Spurred On and our regular edition of <laughs> Five Things We Learnt uh, on a Monday. And, of course, this time it's what we learnt from the Middlesbrough game. It was...